Hey, Shane, I'm here. Sorry, darling. Got a little distracted. Get out your phone. You'll see. The cop I paid off finally got me access to their cameras. This here is a live video feed. So? It's a bunch of cops. Yeah, and they're protecting the chief of police. A man I am very eager to meet. Sadly, not with that kind of entourage present. I'm not gonna kill all those dudes just so you can have a sit down. I'll distract them. Stop making a ruckus so they'll have to peel off and investigate. For whatever works, sugar. Now, if this meeting goes the way I see it, I'll be running Seattle for years to come. Meaning you and your brother can go. One ruckus coming up. Just trash the city, all right? Shouldn't be too hard for a freak like you. Time. Keep the cops off my back. I don't want to be interrupted. And don't get any ideas. Your brother's safety depends on my safety. Where's my brother? Been keeping him in a building not three blocks from here. He's your problem now. And that's it? Hell, you heard the chief. You leave town and I'm a made man. Smiles all around.
sorry, honey, but the DUP's getting awful close. And now that I got the chief of police in my pocket, you're just a cute little liability. <laughs> Boys and gas, you pussy. Well, can you blame me? It's not like <laughs> shooting you to death has worked out for anyone. When I get out of here. I know, darling. That's why I gotta make sure you don't. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> Whenever I'd start to freak out, I'd focus on Brent. It was the only thing that'd calm me down. I clung to a good memory. Brent knew that if we didn't leave town, I was never gonna get clean. He started taking risks to make money. I wanted to buy a boat and sneak into Canada. I told him it sounded crazy. But when he came home missing a few teeth, I shaped up. I tried going cold turkey. He stayed by me through all this shit. I owe him. He's my brother. I love him. Nothing was gonna stop me.